Hello, man. This is your boy Shock to History from Metal the Comic. Here we go with the new video. And today we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to play like a pro. Notice that we're playing for $18 price, and we're gonna go ahead and teach you exactly how we run our defense. So make sure you guys stay all the way to the end of the video so you can learn and take advantage of this. So, anyways, subscriber of the day is gonna be W Turner. Congratulations, your subscriber of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and put you in for a drawing for a free offense or defensive guide at manhustles.com. Also, we're gonna do a giveaway for our veterans. If you're a veteran or you're a cop or you're a teacher, we're going to definitely help you get better at Madden. So let me know in the comment section if you're a veteran so we can go ahead and hook you guys up with some discounts and some free giveaways. Uh, other than that, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button, and let me know in the comment section uh, anything. Just drop a comment, give me feedback, and I'll go ahead and hook you guys up. Anyways, we're coming on to the 3-4 odd. And on the 3-4 odd, we're going to go ahead and set up our personnel. That's very important, guys. If you guys don't know your personnel, make sure you know your personnel. Know how to set them up in the quick substitutions on the main menu because that's where you're going to set up and put some players that you cannot put in your depth chart in certain positions. So in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and set up my run stopper. How do I set up my run stopper, guys? My run stopper is out of the 3-4 odd, and I'm always going to set it up the same. The run stopper is always the same, whether I put contains or re-blitz all the linebackers. All I have to know that I have to set up my run stopper. And basically, my universal run stopper out of the 3 4 odd is going to be uh, base on line press, print D line, crash D line down. And I'm going to go ahead and spread the linebackers and blitz all the linebackers to contain. Sometimes I'll pass commit. Sometimes I don't pass commit. Sometimes I'll run commit, depending on the situation. In that situation, he did beat me. He beat my safety. So I'm going to move Westry a little bit more to the inside. As I say, my run stopper, I'm going to go ahead and get the backside guy, uh, the safety. To go ahead and help and i'm i'm stopping the run in that situation right there so notice that my safety didn't get there but i kind of closed and sealed the deal there and stopped them and he only got one yard so we're gonna go ahead and set a run stopper again every time he comes out in two wide receiver set i'm gonna go ahead and come out in my run stopper regardless now if i feel like he's gonna pass i'm always gonna contain and pass commit because when you contain and pass commit the contains are gonna automatically blitz to the quarterback even if he just moves moves a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and set up again one more time we're gonna go ahead and spread the d-line crash d-line down uh pinch d-line i'm gonna go ahead and spread uh re-blitz all the linebackers and notice right here we uh hit him with a hit stick and we made him fumble but fortunately unfortunately he recovers Four than two, guys. Let's see what he comes out in. I'm going to go ahead and set up my personnel. Make sure that my personnel is in the right spot. I'm going to come out in H plus one, uh, cover nine, pinch stop three. All are the same setups, guys. All are the same setups are the way you set up a run stopper. He's coming out in two running backs, three tight ends. So I know he's going to come out in a running formation. So I'm going to go ahead and pinch D-line, crash D-line down, spread the linebackers, replace all the linebackers. I'm going to press, put Woods right here close to the line of scrimmage. And then I'm going to come with Westry, try to seal the deal there. And there we go. As we try to seal the deal, we got our linebacker just getting behind the line of scrimmage and stopping. So right here, I'm just going to show you defense, guys. I want you to learn defense because a lot of people are struggling how to stop the run and struggling. Like I said, I have over 500 games played on mud over 500 games chemistry all that stuff guys definitely when you go to head-to-head -head, it feels a lot easier to play games all right i wasn't winning head-to-head -head games before i went into this boot camp of just mad and mad and mad and mad and mad and every single day anyways three four odd we're gonna go ahead and set our 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 run stopper here we're coming out in the again cover three we're gonna go ahead and pinch crash the line down spread the linebackers i'm uh, gonna go ahead and replace other linebackers this time i didn't contain i'm just gonna go ahead and come out and you're gonna know some a mistake that i made on this video okay some mistakes that you could make here that can actually uh beat you but you're gonna have to be able to adjust in this case in case what i'm doing here in this adjustment i'm gonna get, go ahead and change byron jones to the outside because i feel like he's gonna throw more to the right side so in this situation we come out in the three four bear and look at my adjustment here i put a two a curl flats i put a deep over there deep half over there on the left side i'm gonna go ahead and try to take away that read uh he dropped the ball there so that that's his i think maybe his running back is not good at catching on the flats or with pressure so uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure we have our offensive line, uh, our defensive line set the way we want our person. I don't think our personnel is set right here with the one for six, which is our pass defense. And I feel that this guy is actually going to start passing pretty soon. So I got to be very careful on how I, where I have to have make sure my defenses are set. And I only run two defenses, big time pass defense and three, four run defense. And sometimes I'll use it for pass defense as well. I want my high pressure defense. It's going to be the three, four bear and the three, four bear also stops the run. Okay, so those are those depending on how you use them. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and come out here in the 146 defense. I'm gonna go ahead and move the blitz over here on the right side to the inside. Contain. I'm gonna go ahead and put a flat right there with Vander Edge right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and pass commit and I'm gonna go ahead and protect the sticks so the flats can protect the sticks. All right. They're they're there to 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 do their job. So I'm gonna go ahead and take away the read. Coming across the field, look at the flat right there. If I wouldn't have protected the sticks, 
that would have not been there. Okay, there definitely would have been a first down on him. Four than four. Is he gonna go for it? I'm gonna go ahead and send the blitz. The blitz is very easy. It's a four-man blitz. All I have to do is adjust the middle linebackers. And notice that I'm putting a flat. I'm protecting the sticks. Blitzer comes in and he gets me right here, crushing route. I feel like this guy is just throwing things to throw them. Okay, he's not really making reads. He's just like trying to get rid of the ball because he knows the pressure's coming in quick. Why is the pressure coming in quick on the right side? Basically because his running back is away from. Uh, from the side of the blitzer so if the running back is away from the blitzer that makes it a, an easy target for for us to keep sending that blitz anyways i noticed that my player dropped the ball he didn't react on time so i'm gonna go ahead and change the coaching adjustment to uh go and go ahead for my players to look for the ball okay play the ball instead of playing the receiver so that's gonna help me eliminate some of those uh those drop picks so we're gonna go ahead and come out in the edge one right now and this time he comes out like in a play where the I guess the wide receiver is running with it. So I kind of like swerve and swerve and swerve and make sure I, I, I he doesn't run past me. And we do stop him there. Um, I did go for a two-point conversion on the last play and I missed it. So that's why he's 0-0 in this game. So I put a little bit of more pressure on myself. But uh, we have solid defense. So I'm very comfortable with my defense. So I'm pretty sure that we can go ahead and uh, lock this guy up. So again... Let's see what he comes out in. We always read to see what he comes out in. Sometimes if I see he's coming out in uh, passing formation, I'll go ahead and click off. Sometimes I'll stay on this depending on the situation. But if it's a critical moment, I got to make sure that I come out in the right defense. Because if not, they're going to cook me deep. All right. So he's coming out in gun type flex. Let's go to pass defense. Okay. And the setup is the same every single time. Now, if I notice they start doing like inside zones and I can't stop them, I'm going to go ahead and audible to my run stopper out of this. Okay. So I do have a run stopper out of this formation. I do have my pass defense out of this formation. And uh, I got to have my personnel again in the right spot. I'm going to go ahead and set it up right here. Move the blister to the inside. I'm going to go ahead and put a flat over here on the left. I'm going to go ahead and protect the sticks. Pass commit. And we get the nice little blitz in our first core. Guess how we get it? We get it on defense. Okay. There's nothing better than getting a touchdown on defense. And give me uh, 50 likes on this video just because uh, we are playing really good defense. And I'm teaching you guys exactly what we're doing here. So I know I have some players out of position right here. I'm going to go ahead and put the correct players, especially Anthony over the top. My user, he's one of, he, definitely one of the fastest guys in the team. So I'm going to go ahead and user him over the top. Definitely nobody can beat my users with this player all over the field so again we're pretty much setting the defense up the same way every single time against the pass now i could make some different adjustments if i wanted to but not necessary right now playing too hard flash protecting the stick pass committing taking away the recoming coming across the field there's nothing there he's just gonna go ahead and throw it away so he right now guys he's locked down okay that's gonna be a free 18 dollars that i'm gonna get uh for this price as uh, well it looks like it right now but i cannot be overconfident you still gotta keep playing the game you never know when things can turn around and just not work or go against you so you always gotta stay focused on the on, on playing your defense playing your offense don't ever count your eggs before the hatch now that's uh some good advice right there so we're gonna go ahead again we're gonna go ahead and just base a line move the blister to the right over here uh put a flat over here on the left on the on the middle linebacker move this guy down because i'm scared of the seam's gonna get beat there so i'm gonna have two hard flats down i'm gonna protect the sticks i'm gonna go ahead and pass commit and we're gonna go ahead and right there you see that that should have been a pick but like i said uh in that situation if i wouldn't have protected the sticks van der Esch would have been playing higher okay he would allow me to get uh, allow him to get more yards but I'm not gonna. I know that he likes to throw to the flat, so I'm always gonna go hard flats, and I'm gonna protect the, the sticks, so you guys can see here. Now I know the left side is kind of short, so there we go. We got two hard flats. I'm gonna move the safety over the top to the inside of the, the slot, just in case they do throw that seam right there. He comes out in a run. Guess who's gonna stop it? Okay, and I'm coming over there, making him cut back to the inside where all the defense is at, and we stop it right there. Four and ten. He's gonna come out and try to do something with this. We're going to go ahead and put a mid read over here with a middle linebacker. We got Van Der Esch on the flag, hard flags. We had two hard flags over here playing, uh, playing underneath. And we're going to protect the sticks and pass commit. Okay, so we're pretty much set right here on defense. This time I'm going to go ahead and base the line again because I felt like my defense was too much to the outside. We're going to go ahead and take away some of those reads. Look at Brown just all over the field. And he's just complete blanket defense. So this is how we play defense, man. And uh, like I said, I hope you guys are learning from here. So the next play, I just run it for a touchdown. Okay, so we're going to come out on defense again, 14-0 in this game. So right now we're playing very per uh, perfect defense. Again, pinch D-line, crash D-line down, spread the linebacker, we the linebackers contain. We're going to go ahead and lurk. We're here with Woodson coming across the field. I can see that guy coming. And as you guys can see there, 
that block shit comes in. Because, again, we're blitzing all the linebackers, okay? If they're not throwing to the flat, if they're throwing to the flat, I'll come out like in a cover nine just to mix it up, and I'll flip it every now and then. And then he'll think he, the flat is open, and it's not. So this time, I noticed that he's coming out in, uh, right here and uh, before the half. He's coming out in A, so I decided to go bare. And if he does pass, I did put a, a two deep zones over the top over here, two deep blue zones over here on the left side. So he's throwing to one receiver who's in double coverage, and we just get the ball back. I'm going to go ahead and hit a field goal here in the third quarter. Game is 17-0, so my offense is pretty good. Guess what I'm doing on offense? I didn't want to show you guys offense because I didn't want to waste your time on offense because everybody on offense right now is just running the ball, so I'm running the ball. Every now and then, I do come out in bunch, but uh, running the ball is the most effective game, uh, way to win games, all right? Right now, if that's, this is the way it is. Okay, so uh, he's coming across the field. We're going to go hit again. Uh, pinch D-line, crash D-line down, go ahead and spin the linebackers, release all the linebackers contain. I'm going to go ahead and pass come in, in this situation. I'm going to go ahead and lurk with the safety on the back side. Who's, uh, that's the guy that I'm going to have to grab to help. I mean, every single time I'm going to be helping, 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 helping. Don't think that the computer is always going to stop the run. You're going to have to develop some users eventually so you can stop the run yourself. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and press, pinch D-line, crash D-line down, spread the linebackers. We're going to go ahead and contain. We're going to go ahead and lurk. We got stuck right here with the linemen. He's gonna go deep right here. The this is the mistake that I was talking about. I totally forgot. I was winning 17-0. I got confident. I pressed. I didn't think he was gonna go deep, or he was smart enough to make a change because he never gone deep the whole game until he saw that press. And then I make another mistake. So that's why we gotta stay focused. I maybe I, maybe I was a little bit too cocky with that pressing the defense. I shouldn't have pressed when I didn't have to press. I could have just set up the run stopper just like I'm doing here right now. I'm, but this time I'm not pressing. I learned from my mistake. I'm not pressing no more. I'm just gonna stay over the top. Take away that. I knew he wanted to go to that drag because he had thrown it before in the game. So little tendencies like that you could write down on a piece of paper on the side. He likes to throw the drag on this type of formation. He likes to throw and check down to the to the flat in this type of situation. And then you make those adjustments as the game progresses. It's okay to write things down, okay? If you have to, if you have good memory, then look for those little things. So I took away that drag and indefinitely it took him back six yards. So we're gonna go ahead and take away any read coming across the field. He got me good here, man. I didn't think he was gonna get it on that window, man. He did get a, a good dot right there. So again, we're gonna go ahead and set up the blitz again on the right side. And mostly I'm playing with my user. I'm just taking away reads coming across field, maybe baiting him a little bit there. And, and if the blitz comes in, it comes in. In Rex, it comes a lot better. In Mutt, it's very hard to get this blitz to get in there. Depending on who you have on the side, uh, you have to get somebody that's going to rush the ball. And uh, you need to get some rushes and abilities on Mutt because it's very tough. I know I know what I'm talking. I just play like 500 games in Mutt. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and set up this run. Uh, this Again, the pass defense. He's coming out on the screen. The base comes in so quick. Uh, he throws it too early. And so he couldn't get rid of it. So it's third and 10. We're up 17-16. Got two minutes left on the clock. And let's see what he comes out in. He's coming out in one running back, one tight end, three wide receivers. Or two wide receivers, I believe. Coming, oh, yeah, three wide receivers. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and set up the defense the whole entire time. It's the same thing, guys. The same thing. I'm just there, me taking away all the reads away. The Why do I man up the running back there? Just to distract the lineman a little bit so that edge blitz can come in there. Byron right here gets a nice little interception. But we were off sides, apparently. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, again... Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to see what he runs. we got two minutes left, 17-6. He cannot score because then they'll put him back in the game. So it's third and five. I move my blitzer in. Blitzer comes straight in. No blocker. He let his running back go outside. He's going to go for it. Four and 12. What is he going to come out in? He's coming out again and Trey Flex. I feel like he's just getting random plays and trying to throw it out there. So I'm, I'm pretty sure his game plan was to run the ball, but he can't run the ball against the run defense. He was struggling, so he kind of got desperate and started passing. Okay, so uh, here we go. We're going to go ahead and just lurk anything coming across. He does block the running back right there. We almost got the pick. He threw throws right over us, but Woods was right in position to get the pick himself. And this is pretty much game over, guys. So with that said, guys, hit us up with 50 likes in the video, man. Hopefully this helped you guys out on defense. Let me know in the comment section and maybe there was something sketchy that you need to learn. Or maybe there's something else. Uh, that you need to try out or maybe you got questions on how to stop a certain route or certain formation let me know here in the comment section i'll be more than glad to help you guys out with that said we'll see you guys there's your boy shocker tweezy from me so come don't forget to come and like subscribe for more